I was 47 years. The first person to be diagnosed in my family was my blood sister. She was 35 and she has to undergo mastectomy. A very beautiful lady. The second one was my cousin. She was 37. She had the breast conserving surgery. When I was 47, it got to a point I realized I was just losing weight. Some tiredness. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and I say, ah, what is wrong with me? I've been going to hospitals and no good results. By then, like Auntie Grace said, breast cancer is not painful. I did not know I had a lump in my right breast because I've never had the opportunity to get myself screened. So one day on our usual rough road in a car going home, I noticed some funny pains in my right breast. I studied it for three days. Then I said, no, let me go to the hospital because of my sister and my cousin. So I went to the Peace and Love Hospital. I was screened, and the medical officer asked me, do I know I have a lump in my breast? I said, no. Then she said, bring your hand. It was under my breast. I have to do the necessary investigations and when the results turned out, it was a stage one breast cancer. Dr. Riafe advised me we should quickly do the surgery because my nipple was safe. By then, there was no health insurance in the country. So I have to look for money. And God willing, on my way home, my husband called me. Then I told him, this is what the doctor said. How much will you need? He gave me the amount. And in two days' time, I went for the surgery. After the surgery, then... Dr. Yafi said I should go on chemotherapy. I've seen my sister going on the chemotherapy, so I knew the result of it. I had the first one on a Wednesday. By Saturday, I could not swallow anything. My sore was, my throat was sore, my mouth. Hey, I called Dr. Yavi. She said, let them prepare some light soup for you. And even the light soup, I couldn't swallow it. Early Monday morning, around 5.30, I was the first person to be at the hospital. When she saw me, she said, oh, who? Oh. They treated me then I went home. I was just eating dehu, and I used a teaspoon to throw the food back. Then I would swallow it. Even to drink water was a problem. I went for the second one, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. When I had the first one, before I will go for the second one. I was at home with my children. My husband has gone to work. By then, I, I, I had Carol on my head. Ah. Mr. Mama, 
Wala adeno ya pacha pacha umitirisu. <laughs> so all the hair was down. My Sakura. Hey. I told my elder sister to use a scissors to cut the small ones for me. She said, no, ma, me to me. I look for a scarf to tie my hair. For one week, I was sleeping with a scarf on my head. Then my husband asked me, ah, I don't know what the scarf is. And I said, oh, I don't know what the scarf is. 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 He pulled the scarf off my head and said, Oh, that's so tearful. Praise the Lord. Ah. From then, it gave me some confidence. I slept with my Sakura head at home. I don't use a scarf except a visitor is coming then I will tie my head. When you visit me, I will tell my story to you. This is the problem I'm having and the doctor is working on me. And I know if I finish my treatment, my hair will grow back. The darkness will all go back. I will be the Vivian you know, I wouldn't allow you to go out and oko kansem no hu tinya na makama so much ro to kwa de makachiro no and no and I was say My sister survived for seven years. Then later a whole lot of complications. She died. And she was trying to do the advocacy thing. So when she died, I said, ah, let me be active with Breast Care International. At least my sister will know that in her absence, I'm doing my best to help fight breast cancer. I'm the president of the Peace and Love Association and yeah, over. Wow.